Fitness Boxing Fist of the North Star has released an expansion pass bringing two new modes, a new currency to unlock costumes and music to work out to, and brings a fair bit of challenge to it too, but I'll be upfront with you, I don't think you should buy it for the price they are selling it at. Let's look at the content. The menu changes and has a new section that contains the expansion content, and in there you'll find the two new modes and a new shot. Heart mode is first and has you do constant amounts of punches in an arcade mode style with you having to hit certain targets within certain time frames. 100 punches in 10 seconds or 56 punches in 5 seconds etc etc. There are three different difficulty modes and even on easy mode this is a really tough challenge and it's endless as far as I've been able to tell at least anyway. Only once you fail will it stop. I appreciate the difficulty but here's the rub. There is no way that you can perform the punches required in the time frame that you have with good form. It's just not happening. This is a arm flailing wild man mode. From a workout perspective, there is almost an element of Tabata training here, which is really interesting because it's so intense for a really short period of time. I can see it having uses as a finisher to a workout, but in reality, you only got about five to 10 minutes of training per session here. Next, there's Rouse mode. This is a single hit challenge with two modes, one based on accuracy and one based on the speed of your punch. For the first mode, the target you have to hit moves around a lot, so you have to time it really well and hit fast. For the second mode, you have a standard punch track and have to hit when it requires you to, but you gotta go fast. I managed an S plus rank here, which was really cool, but it's very, very short lived. You can swap hands and use your non-dominant hand, which adds about another minute of gameplay. While the accuracy and velocity being used is interesting to an extent, unfortunately it doesn't really bring much to a workout, and as far as content goes, like literally I'm talking you've got about two minutes, if that, of content here. So it's not great. As far as the costumes and music go, it's all standard fare. It's all original songs, no licensed music from Fist of the North Star, albeit there are some bangers. And the outfits are yet again reskins, no new models are added, just new colours and patterns. It's worth noting as well that this DLC doesn't bring any extra boxes that you can box against either, which is, you know, a little frustrating. But, you know, there's, there's some fun stuff in the DLC, absolutely. And especially from a fitness perspective, Heart Mode actually does have something good in there. So why am I recommending that you don't buy it? I paid $37.50 for this DLC. That is Australian dollary dues, yes, but still. For the amount of gameplay you're going to get out of it, this should absolutely not be half the goddamn cost of the game. I'm actually frustrated that I spent that amount. I mean, yes, it's a business expense, but that's not the point. It's not even remotely worth the amount of money that you pay for it. And I hate to be this guy, because I don't like being this guy, but I don't understand why this wasn't part of the base game. Like, there are no specific new mechanics being added in this DLC. There's no actual new models. There's, yeah, there's new music. There's new music that they could do a music add-on like they've done before. The, the actual content, you know, like the thousand rushing blows fists, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but that's in the base game. The speed and velocity, those measurements are in the base game. This could easily have been added before, or at least be, you know, a minimal cost, you know, like five to ten dollars or something like that. You're really not getting a lot of gameplay out of it, but thirty-seven dollars fifty or, you know, essentially half the cost of the original base game is way too expensive. It's way too expensive, and so I don't recommend that you actually buy this unless it goes on sale or if they decide to drop the price. So that's what I think about the Fitness Boxing Fist of the North Star Expansion Palace. Yes, this is a little bit of a short review, but then to be honest, it's a short DLC. So, you know, kind of weighs up, kind of weighs up. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, yeah, hit subscribe for the best fitness gaming content on YouTube. I'm Master Trainer Peter, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks to my patrons like Rain and Connor for their support through Patreon.